Now let's see how multiplexer could be used in order to implement the functions. Hmm? And I told you that multiplexer is a functionally complete device. So which means it should be able to implement any function possible, right? So let us say this is S1, it is S0 and inputs are I1, I2, I3, I4, sorry, I0, I1, let's start with 0 only, it will make sense and then the function is F. Hmm? Now let us say in place of this I give a variable for S0 and I will give a variable for S1. So the variable which I will give for S1 is A and the variable which I give for S0 is B. Hmm? Then in terms of A and B what will be the function F? You know that the function F is if A and B are 0 0 which means if A and B are 0 0 then the output is going to be I0. If A and B are 0 1 Hmm? So 0 1 means this one then it is going to be I1 if they are 1 0 that is going to be I2 right and if it is uh, 1 1 let me write it here if it is 1 1 then it is going to be I3 right that is what it is. So now let us say I, what can you say about or how can you implement the functions which are having two variables. So I want to talk about the two variable functions. Hmm? Let us assume that I have a function like this with only two variables a, b and the function g is 0, 0, it is 1, 0, 1, 0, uh, 1, 0, 1, 1. Let us say I have a function like this in two variables. So g is a function in two variables a, b and now you bought that uh, multiplexer which is a 4 by 1 multiplexer. It is 4 by 1 multiplexer, right? Fine. And this is the equation. Now I want to implement this function using that multiplexer. Then what should I really do? So one thing is you could straight away you know, give these uh, inputs to the select lines. See whatever is the input of this function which you wanted to implement, it is better you give it to the select lines instead of giving them to the uh, you know other one. The inputs you give it to the select lines, right? And now how can you write g in terms of a and b? See this. In terms of a and b, g is nothing but a prime b prime because these two, I am just writing the canonical collection of uh, sum of products and this is a b, right, a prime b prime plus a b. Now how can you write in terms of everything, see I would have written it as a prime b prime into 1, why, because it is present plus a prime b into 0 plus a b prime into 0 plus a b into 1 right now you check this you just compare this one and this one this function and this function see it is nothing but i naught i naught is 1 and i 1 is this and i 2 is this and i 3 is this so what did you understand if i give in terms of i naught i 1 i 2 i 3 1 0 0 1 and in terms of the select lines a and b then the function is going to implement this entire function. In fact, what is this function? If you could find it, figure it out, it is uh, exclusion or. So, in order to implement exclusion or, what I would have done is, in for i naught, I would have given 1, 0, 0, 1. So, if I give this input, then, and the a comma b here, right, then the function is going to behave as uh, xor. So, how do you know that it is going to behave that way? Check this, if I give 0, 0, then what should be the output 1, right? Now this f equal to g, right? So if I give 0, 0 here, what will be selected? I naught. So what is it? I naught 1. Therefore, output will be 1. If you give 0, 1 to a, b, which means if I give 0, 1 to the to here, then the uh, input selected is I 1. And what is that I 1? 0. Therefore, output will be 0, right? So therefore, that, that multiplexer now exactly implements this function, enter function g, provided that a and b are given to the select lines and the input is given here. One thing you should keep in mind is, see, S0 and S1 numbers are important. S0 means the least significant bit of the select line and S1 means the most significant bit of the select line. Similarly, if I have S0, S1, so on, Sn, then S0 means the least significant and Sn means the most significant. And you should keep in mind, what is the assignment you are giving here? Hmm? So either are you assigning S0 to B or S1 to A like that right depending on this assignment this input might change for this example it is same even if you assign B to this or A to this for this input it happened that it is same but it is not true for all the inputs right. Let's input, let's implement one more function here 
let's just check this let us say i want to implement one more function whose value is hmm, 1 0 1 0 then how can i implement it you can you can straight away give it as 1 0 1 0 that's it right now this input is valid provided that the assignment is a b to s1 s2 if you have reversed this you know you know this uh, assignment which means here if you would have given uh, b and here you would have given a then this one is going to change right why because depending on your combinations it is going to change see this a prime b prime it is going to be fine here it is going to be uh, a prime b for a prime b the value is going to be 1 right now what is a prime b a prime b is nothing but 0 to a and 1 to b that is a prime b isn't it now if a and b is here then it is going to be 0 1 if b and a are here it is going to be 1 0 right so depending on which one you do assign the corresponding input has to be made one so that is what one thing you should keep in mind so the s0 s1 ordering is s0 is the least significant bit of the select line and sn is the most significant bit most of the time they will tell you which one is least significant which one is the most significant and the second thing is you should see what is implemented i mean what is assigned to which gate which select line right fine now given that if you have 2 power 2 by 1 which is nothing but 4 by 1 multiplexer you are able to implement any function of two variables isn't it if you have this any function of two variables is going to be implemented without using any other gate directly 0 and 1 and give the inputs and you are able to implement it similarly you can figure out that if i have hmm, you can figure out that if i have like this 2 power 3 by 1 which means 8 by 1 gate you could implement any function of three variables the reason is you have all the see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 all the inputs and 1 2 3 and the output see why do you think that this is true is uh, actually each of these input combinations represent one of the min term right so one each min term is present here and you can directly assign the function values to this min term therefore they will appear on the output whenever that corresponding input is appearing at the uh, select lines right therefore it is very easy to see that if i have 2 power 3 which means 8 by 1 multiplexer then implementing three variable function without any any other gate is straightforward right and similarly if i have 2 power n by 1 multiplexer what can you implement any any function which is having n variables can be implemented very easily right but then the question arises can i implement a three variable function using a two by four uh, no, four by one multiplexer which means the number of variables i have is three but the uh, you know multiplexer i have is two by one is it possible that i implement i mean four by one is it possible that i implement this it turns out that it is possible but you might have to ha use more gates which means other than the multiplexer if you are if you are willing to use more gates more levels then it is possible that you can realize even a bigger valuable function i mean even a n variable function with uh, less than 2 power n by you know less than 2 power n by 1 multiplexer what i mean to say is even if you have a three variable function we can implement it with using 4 by 1 multiplexer given that you have more gates to be used at the inputs so i'll just take an example and explain you better see let us assume that i have a three variable function hmm? and a three variable function is like this a b c 0 0 0 if you if you, are, if you don't want to write this you can directly write 0 1 to 7 hmm? This is a three variable function therefore eight min terms are there so what i wanted to do is i just want to show a function let us say g now the function values for g are like this 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 something like this right now this is the function which has to be implemented by a 4 by 1 multiplexer then how what is going to be at the inputs this is what i wanted to find out is it possible to implement it so check this if i have to implement this function first write down all the min terms possible then we shall talk about it hmm? so first of all g can be written as like this so g can be written as c 
see where where are what are the min terms present in g one is a prime b prime c plus see here we are not interested in minimizing the function because all the min terms are available for me i am not interested in minimizing okay now a prime b prime c this first one plus the second one is a prime b c prime plus the third one is a prime b c plus the last one is a b c a b c got it and now if you look at this one i could i will see depending on what you wanted to give to the select lines let us say to the select lines see since it is a 4 by 1 multiplexer to the select lines you, give, you can give only two inputs right so what are the two inputs you can decide upon anything either you could give a b to that or you could use b c to that anything let me say this is s1 and s0 and i am giving a to s1 and b to s0 then let's see how to, what should be given to the this input so that the output will be this function right so for that i am going to take a prime b prime which means 0 0 and i am going to pull it out as common so there is only c plus is there any term a b prime the reason is this depends on what what is present after a b prime a prime b prime and next one is a prime b is there anything with a prime b yes a prime b is containing c as well as c prime therefore if i add these two c prime plus it is going to be one right and then is there anything present for a b prime a b prime nothing is present check this a prime b prime a prime b a prime b a b therefore it is zero right plus a b it is going to contain c so what did you understand this is nothing but i naught you have to give this to i naught and you have to give this to i1 so i1 is 1 and you have to give this to i2 and you have to give this to i3 so if i if i assign the values of c to the i inputs then this function is going to be implemented g is going to be implemented by that so which means watch it so here so here for i naught uh, the value given is c and here for i1 the value is given is 1 and for i i2 value is given is 0 and for i3 value given is c so if you use this assignment to this multiplexer then this multiplexer is going to implement this function so what did you understand just by using 2 by 1 multiplexer you could even implement sorry just by using 4 by 1 multiplexer we are able to implement even three variable function therefore using 2 power n by 1 multiplexer I can implement a function which is containing greater than n variables right that is possible so greater than n variables not just n plus 1 variables but only thing you should keep in mind is you might sometimes require more gates apart from the multiplexer see here we are just lucky that we didn't get anything called anything like c prime what if i would have got here i naught as c prime the input given to the i naught is c prime then you are supposed to use a not gate here therefore one more extra gate is required right so so it turns out that if you have more extra gate you can implement a bigger variable function using smaller one right so maybe you might have you know you could get a doubt now so I, if i have four by one uh, gate like this hmm, then four by one uh, multiplexer can i implement a function which is having four variables so what is the problem with four variables if i have four variables i have 16 min terms right so even if you give two variables to the second select line then how many variables should be given to this two variables right but with two variables how many possibilities are there right more than more than four see this what i mean to say is if you are going to have four variables four variables input then two variables will be given to this but then where are you going to give these two variables remaining two variables which means if you give a b to that then c d can be anything right so here you could get something like this c d c d will be a function rather than a you know single variable therefore i naught has to be now a function of other variables which means in order to implement a higher valued higher variable functions using a lower variable this multiplexer you are supposed to do some handing here the reason is check this check this so uh, what i mean to say is sometimes if i have four variable function then how does the function look like is then the function look may look like this a prime b prime into cd plus a b prime 
a prime b into c prime d prime plus a prime b uh, a b prime into c d plus a b into c d something like this if i have a function like this then it is a four variable function right it is a four variable function then how are you going to represent it using the multiplexer definitely a and b you can give it to the select lines once you give the a and b to the select lines now i not becomes not a single variable it is cd then i1 becomes c prime d prime then i2 becomes cd then i3 becomes cd right how are you going to give this now you have to separately outside this multiplexer you have to take a and gate and then you implement cd and then you have to give it so definitely implementing higher variables is possible using a smaller multiplexer but only thing is you have to go with the extra number of gates provided that you have you are allowed to use the extra number of gates you can use any big any big function right so this is how we could implement it hmm? let's see some problems on this that will give you a clear idea